the anti-lockdown protests in China, which had erupted in several cities during the last few days, appears to have died down. The authorities in Beijing continue to clamp down on the demonstrations, even as they resumed COVID combat measures, including testing. Heavy police presence has been reported in several cities across China, in Beijing especially. Dozens of police cars and buses full of officers were parked along an intersection in the Chinese capital. The authorities have also started taking preemptive detention measures to thwart any potential demonstrations. Meanwhile, in Shanghai, police officers could be seen patrolling areas of the cities where protests against the country's zero COVID-19 policy may erupt. Some residents say that the police officers have been asking people on the streets for their phones to check if they had the virtual private network and the Telegram app, which were used by protesters over the weekend. This wave of civil disobedience is unprecedented in mainland China. It is an open defiance of the heavy-handed lockdown that swept across the Chinese cities and was explicitly against Chinese President Xi Jinping's zero COVID-19 policy which aims to isolate every infected person. However, there is declining willingness to abide by this policy, especially after a recent rise in infections prompted many cities to further tighten controls. Shanghai residents have fallen back into the city's daily routine of mass testing. Uh, 风控的原因，就是因为风控，呃，某些地区的管理的太严格，然后导致一些突发状况发生的时候，就是，呃，各各种部门呢，就是他没有很好的能衔接上上到。The Shanghai Disney Resort has been closed because of China's COVID restrictions. The resort said that it will provide refund or exchanges for all guests impacted by the closure during this period. Meanwhile, the White House has said that U.S. President Joe Biden and his administration supported the peaceful protests in China. The National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby reiterated that Biden would be watching events in China closely. I don't know if specifically the... We're watching this closely, as you might expect we would. And again, we continue to stand up and support the right of peaceful protest. Um, and I think we're going to watch this closely and, and we'll see where things go. European Council Chief Charles Mitchell will be traveling to Beijing on December 1st. He is scheduled to meet Chinese President Xi Jinping and other senior officials. As per official sources, Mitchell will discuss global challenges and other subjects of common interest.